Get him out of there. <laughs> Another one from the jungle. But in order to make contact in the jungle, you gotta get through there with something that doesn't necessarily get caught up in the weeds. And that's what we got here. This is a new tool called the Weed Wedge from Northland Fish and Tackle. And it is probably one of, if not the most versatile weedless jig, or is it a weighted hook? I don't know. It's kind of both, depending on which situation you're using. Let me show you a few tips and tricks of this new bad boy from Northland. No matter what kind of weed cover you're fishing, the weed wedge has got some features that are really make it unique amongst the jig or, or hook category. First of which is the actual bend of the, of the hook itself or where the line tie is. It's about, I don't know for sure, but it's about 60 degrees or thereabouts. And the nice part is it's the exact same angle that your line generally is coming into the jig. So what that means is that when you bounce into weeds or bounce off, um, a bull rush, you're gonna deflect that and not give zero area for any kind of weed or any kind of debris to build up on the front end of the jig. The other thing is, is that where most jigs have all their weight in one even, you know, one spot, one ball, this is actually dispersed along the entire hook section. And what's neat about that is the bottom of it is actually flat. There's a flat surface on the bottom side of this hook, and that does a couple of different things. It still falls weight forward, slightly weight forward, but it offers glide for a swim bait, or if you're jigging it in deeper weeds, it'll actually allow your bait, regardless of size, to swim a little bit. And that really adds a little bit of extra action that you don't get with other jigs. Finally, the fact it's got a solid hook. It's got a big, sturdy hook. So when you make contact with a fish, you get that hook inside that fish, it's not going to bend and it's not going to torque, and it's going to ensure that you land more of the fish that strike. This looks kind of fishy, huh? So the neat thing is, is that screw lock, pigtail type screw, it allows you to screw your plastic right up to the nose of the jig. And what I like about that is that it actually moves a little bit, so it, it, it doesn't wear so hard on your plastics. You get a little extra life out of your plastics because of the fact that that is jointed. We'll just flip, flip up underneath there and see if anybody's, see if anybody's home. But that's the neat part about being confident in a bait that is weedless, is being able to cast up under things that normally, there we go, just like that. Cast up underneath things that you know are gonna hold fish. Not big, but he gets the job done. It's a good example of what we're talking about. Throw him back in there. There's no doubt that the Weed Wedge is a versatile bait. And whether you want to call it a jig or you want to call it a weighted hook, it really doesn't matter. It catches walleyes, it catches pike, it catches bass, large ones, small ones, because it is a plastic delivering device. So no matter whether you're hooking it up with a worm, a creature, a beaver, a minnow shape, whatever plastic that you're putting on the Weed Wedge, there is a size and a color to match the situation that you're fishing. Hey, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There we go, now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big old walleye.